a saggy blue suit and a faded old red wrinkled paint. Singing is John Davidson's true passion. I got my 12 string. We caught up with John virtually at his home in Sandwich, where he admits you can't beat the view. Ron and I are here at home, and, and uh, at least we have the beautiful Ossipee Mountains behind us and the pine trees and all, so I feel very lucky. I'm very grateful for where we're quarantining. John had a full schedule of live performances that are now canceled. I want to do my live shows. I want to just sing and sing and sing and tell jokes in between. And and uh, I, I've, I've been so fortunate to make relationships with, with a lot of the coffee houses and small theaters. And I just, I just love doing this. If people let me do it, I, I'd love to perform until I just fall over and say, well, what was the last thing he did? Well, he had a guitar in his hand and then he fell down. <laughs> <laughs> and nobody else in sight. John Davidson has been performing for more than 50 years, from The Tonight Show to Carol Burnett, to hosting That's Incredible and Hollywood Squares. John was a fixture on television in the 70s and 80s. Now, at age 78, John has settled in Sandwich. Oh, I just love New Hampshire. I, I love, I, I do, I have to drive 20 minutes to, to, uh, to, to find a hardware store or even a uh, toothbrush or, or groceries, but that's okay. I just, I'm out here in the woods. Hello! Did you hear the echo? He travels around the country to perform his one-man show. I love playing my guitar and I I love making my face vibrate and <laughs> oh, I just, I love, and I love the interaction with people. Now you've been in New Hampshire now how many years? Three? Four, four years. Four I, I'm coming, year. coming, it will be four. And uh, we just love it. I love, what is it about New Hampshire? I love that, that uh, people are, are opinionated and in your face and, and uh, live free or die. That's the, uh, and I love the freedom up here. Since moving to New Hampshire, John has become friends with Academy Award winning playwright, Ernest Thompson, who wrote On Golden Pond. Ernest wrote a song about New Hampshire that John is now performing. He said, I've got this song. He said, you might like it. And he showed me a recording and I said, might like it. Oh my goodness, I said, let me record that. It's all about New Hampshire. Can I sing it for you? Yes. It's called Live Free or Die. It's pretty appropriate. Good. Got my 12 string. In the hills of New Hampshire on a crystal bottom day. If you're looking for adventure, well, it's sure to come your way. Meet me north of Hanukkah. I think you know the spot I mean. See halfway to Canada and every mountain in between. New Hampshire is called, and she always calls to me. In my thoughts of mommy and the sky, I'm walking by the sea. I'm hiking to the top of Mount Banana, biking off the knee. Now the back roads of New Hampshire is where I long to be. I'm going home. Where the gray blue heron soars across the sky. If you've ever seen it, you know why we meet it. And we raise our battle cry. Let this is what John misses the most performing. I miss doing my shows. I, I, I uh, let me whine a little bit. I just, I love doing my show. Live free or die. John has had a rich and diverse career. We talked about some of the friends and fellow performers he had, like Kenny Rogers, who recently passed away at age 81. Kenny and I have done a lot of things together, and yeah, that whole group is now Glenn Campbell's gone, and uh, John Denver's gone, and now Kenny's gone. So uh, I, I feel, uh, 
Yeah, he was a buddy for a while, Kenny and I, and then we both uh, went on tour, and that's the trouble when you have a buddy who's in show business. We're, we're all uh, gypsies. And so uh, I hadn't seen very much of Alaska Lee's. Gypsy days behind him, New Hampshire is where John has planted his roots and never misses an opportunity to break into song about it. This one. In the hills of New Hampshire on a crystal autumn day. Yeah, say it again, Johnny. Always an entertainer, John may try a few virtual concerts, but his true love comes with the feedback and the energy he gets when performing in front of a live audience. Anyway, I, I feel very, very grateful for the career that I've had and for the life that I have, and I just, I wish I could do something more for uh, what the country and what the world is going through. For now, John can do what he does best, entertaining, an uplifting remedy for his generation of fans during this trying time. Sing with me, live free. I can hear you. Live free. 